We're talking Charlotte 49ers volleyball. Welcome inside our studios on the campus of UNC Charlotte. Ryan Rose with you. Head coach Chris Redding beside me and the two seniors on the 2010 Charlotte 49ers volleyball team, Kat Hicks and Kara Raker. Welcome everybody. Hello. We are talking volleyball. Guys, let's start with uh, let's start with the end of last season. Now you guys got back into the A10 tournament coach. Uh, for the first time in three seasons, so good to get back in. You have to win some conference games to get there. Talk about reaching that goal. I know it's a goal you set in the preseason and ways you can build off of that as you start to talk about 2010. Well, really, last year, uh, a lot of things started coming together uh, with, with my time here in the program. Um, you know, players were on the same page with what we were trying to do, how we were trying to do it. We had a great group, uh, just very close. Uh, we finally had a little bit of depth last year, mm -hmm. uh, and and things came together, and uh, we had a fun season. Uh, you know, we, we got the wins we needed to get back in the tournament. Uh, you know, comeback five game win at uh, Duquesne was probably the most important, the biggest, and so, you know, we're starting to do things and play volleyball the right way, and that got us back to where we wanted to be. And then we went into the conference tournament, uh, almost on Xavier's home uh, home turf over there in uh, uh, Dayton, but. Uh, we played our best volleyball match of the year that last match, so mm -hmm. uh, we, were, we were doing what we wanted to do. Kat, I know uh, kind of a big deal for, for you guys to get back to, to the tournament. Mm -hmm. um, in that match, you win the first set, you're tied at 23 in the second set, tied at 21 in the third set. You got to feel like you were right on the cusp, but did, yeah. can you build off of that momentum coming into this year? Oh yeah, I think that like being able to like match a team that you felt like you could never match before felt really good and that like if we have even more and new players and more depth in our team now, like we have an amazing chance to like beat that team. And Kara, what, any any lessons you can teach the young players going into this past spring and into the fall about we were that close, we, we know we we're right there with the top teams in the league? I think what we can teach them is, you know, we are a great team. We do have um, that spark and energy that we can play teams at that top level. So um, as long as we're working together and building relationships, I think, you know, we can do it. This is a good mix of players from all over the country. Mm -hmm. As a captain, and both of you guys are captains this year, talk about your leadership role and how you're able to grab these personalities from Florida oh. and from Illinois and from North and South Carolina and all over the place. Um, I think that I have a much different leadership way of talking to people, and so does Kara, and I think that we're able to split with different groups of people and talk to them in a different way, and they kind of react to us in a different way, but like a good way. Like everyone kind of understands us in a different way. And, I didn't mean to leave out Georgia. That's where Kara is from. Uh, talk a little about what, what it is to have all these different personalities and how you guys take your leadership roles as folding everybody into the mix. Um, I mean, everyone's going to have a different role in the court. Um, being from different places, people are going to play differently and have you know different personalities. And that's what we look for is you know showing personality on the court, bringing energy and stuff like that. So um, we're just trying to make people do that every game, every practice. So. Nine of your players are freshmen and sophomores. That's mm -hmm. a lot on the team of 14. Give me the name of a young player that we can expect something from this year that maybe we wouldn't. Uh, I think Kiara. I think she's not what you think she is. Okay. Definitely, I think that she's like right at that little moment where she can really just turn around and like be an amazing player. Kara, how about you? A uh, name of a youngster, freshman, sophomore, or somebody that's going to make an impact. Some, some young player that you yeah. need to step up and help um, you guys. Kaylin. I think she's been doing a really good job. She worked hard this past spring and summer, and I think she's really going to make an impact this year. So. What does it mean to have a lot, a lot of youth on your squad? I'm sure they're very energetic and ready to soak it all in and, and play hard, but you're going to need some of those young players to step up and play well for you. Well, we, we've got a lot of youth, but at the same time, we've got a lot of returning experience mm -hmm. uh, on the court in the starting spots. And, uh, you know, that's where we're, that, what's going to make us tough. The, the youth is going to add that, that depth and fill in a couple little holes uh, here and there, you know, they, they all of them are going to contribute in different ways, and uh, and that's what we look for: 14 people strong, uh, everyone doing their part and, and helping make us be the best. Some of the shots uh, in the background include these those pink jerseys, and I want to touch on that. Um, volleyball has really started this groundswell for the Dig Pink. Uh, October is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Right smack in the middle of October is your Dig Pink match. Talk about. Um, what it takes to put that thing together and how important it is. It's kind of, it's a festive atmosphere. It's not all somber. It's a, it's a positive thing that's going on. Well, we, uh, we plan all year. You know, uh, the team, uh, we, we brainstorm ideas, ways to make it bigger and better. Um, we're trying to raise awareness. We're trying to raise uh, a lot of money. We raised uh, $8,200 last year, second most in the country for the Dig Pink events. 
we, we'd like to be first this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had 1,500 fans out, so it's an event that the whole community, the university, you know, all the sports teams get involved with, and uh, it's special, and it's special. And, and when you got 1,500 people wearing pink, cheering for you, uh, it's an amazing atmosphere. And so we're having a lot of fun and, and doing a good thing. It's kind of, it, it's, it's festive. The, jer the pink jerseys just do it for me. It's just so much fun to watch. Just take a day off uh, from the, the regular rigors of playing volleyball, but then put the pink jersey on and get it done. I mean, you guys work really hard to go raise that money. Talk about that experience for you guys over the last few years. Um, I think it's nice to be able to go into a conference game and have like this pink jersey on, feel like you're representing more than just your team and more than just yourself, and that you're representing this whole thing about breast cancer and that you're trying to be better as like a community and like really bring up awareness about everything about it, so. Has is, is it been a chore for you guys as seniors having to do a little bit more work, or do you kind of look at this as another part of your leadership roles, Kara? Um, I look at it as another part. I mean, everyone's got to step it up once they get to their you know, senior year, and so I just look at it as part of the game, what we got to do. It's been fun. It's been fun learning. So It's a very festive mm -hmm. event, and we hope everyone will come out on October 15th. But don't stop there. There's a lot of conference matches later this season, and that will determine seating as the conference tournament going to go to Xavier this year. Speaking of back to the Midwest, it'll be back to the Midwest. Thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out. We appreciate it. Uh, we want the fans to come out and see you guys, so hopefully they've gotten a chance to meet you. And uh, good luck, good health, and uh, good wins this season. Right on, good on. Thank you. Head coach Chris Redding and the senior co-captains, Kat Hicks and Kara Raker. I'm Ryan Rose. We're going to give you the home schedule of the Charlotte volleyball team heading out of this segment. So come on out and support them in Halton Arena this season. We'll be right back.